Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. Here's a really fun problem I saw online. We have a semicircle with the diameter AB. Pick a point C on the arc and construct the triangle ACB. Inscribe a circle inside of ACB. Let D, E, and F be the points of tangency and construct a triangle. The question is, what is the measure of angle E, D, F? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. I'll review a quick concept of the inscribed angle theorem. Suppose we have a circle with this central angle that's equal to two theta. Then the arc that the central angle subtends will have the same measure so it will also be equal to two theta. Now let's inscribe an angle that subtends the same arc. This inscribed angle will have half the measure of the central angle or the arc. So this measure will be equal to theta. This angle will have the same measure no matter how we draw the inscribed angle. All of these angles will have the same measure of theta. So now let's go back to the problem. First, we'll figure out the measure of angle ACB. Notice if we extend this semicircle into a full circle, the angle ACB will also subtend the arc of a semicircle. A semicircle's arc has a measure of 180 degrees, so angle ACB must be half of 180 degrees which equals 90 degrees. So angle ACB is a right angle. Now, let's construct the center I to the tangency point IE. Since E is a point of tangency, IE will be perpendicular to EC. So angle IEC will be a 90 degree angle. Now let's construct IF. Since F is a point of tangency, by similar logic, angle IFC will be a 90 degree angle. So we now have a quadrilateral IECF. We know the sum of all of its interior angles will be 360 degrees. We can subtract out the three right angles, which are each 90 degrees, and we will be left that the remaining angle is also equal to 90 degrees. So we have angle EIF will be equal to 90 degrees, then the arc EF must be equal to 90 degrees. But now, the angle EDF is an inscribed angle that subtends the arc EF, so the angle EDF must be half the measure of the arc it subtends, and therefore, this will be one half of 90 degrees, which equals 45 degrees. So the answer is angle EDF is equal to 45 degrees. What's amazing about this problem is it will always be equal to 45 degrees, no matter how this point C is picked along the arc of the semicircle. What an interesting question. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.